With our sink cabinet, we need to measure across where the pipes are coming out from the wall, and we also need to measure where the waste is, and also we've got a dishwasher power point as well. So all of those measurements from there to there need to be transferred onto the back of the sink cabinet, and then we literally drill through the sink cabinet and through the sink base to where all our plumbing outlets are, and electrical outlets. So I'm just going to drill out now for, I'm just going to mark out now for where the power point comes in for the dishwasher. So I've got 135 millimetres and I've got 370. So I just transfer those onto my cupboard. So this one here is my first hole and this is the dishwasher power point hole. What you can also do, you'll notice here that the plumber has done the same thing, he's written some measurements that are actually on the wall. So we can literally do our own measurements as well. Generally speaking, the, accurate, the more accurate you are the better, so 323. And 456. And I'm just going to be measuring the height. 603 and 605. It's a good idea that if other people have got measurements on the wall, make sure that your measurements are different to theirs so you don't get confused. Okay, these are the holes for the actual hot and cold water. Now measuring out the waste, a good idea is to find the centre line of where the waste is. This waste is actually kicking back just a little bit. So I should say that, that would be about 183. And the centre line of there is 350 and that's our hole for actual waste. Now here is a little tip that when you are measuring out for your plumbing holes and your electrical holes always double check your measurements before you drill. Check, uh, measure twice, drill once. The last thing you want to do is have holes drilled in the wrong spot in your cupboard and then have to replace bottoms or cabinet backs. So always double check your measurements before you actually start drilling. So these are our holes that we're going to drill in the back of our sink cabinet. Generally speaking, if it's a power point hole, we'll use a 50 millimeter diameter cutter to drill our hole for the power points. And we can use a smaller one if we need to for the actual pipes. If you need to, you can always just simply write on the cupboard what they are just to make sure that you know that you're using the correct hole saw to drill into the correct hole. What we generally do is we drill from the back to start with and then we all always finish off drilling through the face and that way rather than having the the actual blades of the cutter going through the actual cabinet and possibly chipping it out we're going to get a much better finish if we start this way and then we finish off inside the cabinet. So just simply line up your hole, you'll see that with the drill has already gone through so it's already marked the exact location of where it needs to be. And then we finish off with a nice hole, no chips. So for my hot and water pipes, I'm just going to be using a 40 millimeter hole. And again, the same thing, I'm just going to now drill from the front of the cabinet through to the back. Drilling for our sink waste, we use the 75 mil hole saw bit and we just start at the bottom again we have our pilot hole that's come through from the drill bit so now we finish it off nice and neat all right so now we can just simply put this cabinet in place pop the dishwasher holes first okay that's our cabinet in now all we need to do is level it up with this cabinet here, clamp it off, and then actually screw fix it together. 